Okay, hi everybody, Carl and Samuel at Escape Trailer here. The question we often get is how do I get an escape? And really there are three ways for a person to get an escape from us, from Escape Trailer. So the first one is you really have to ask yourself, what trailer do I want? Yeah. Right, because there are a couple different ways of doing this. Shall we say, um, for most people, if they want a custom trailer that's built for them, that is customized and personalized, but all the options that we have, and we have more options than any other manufacturer, sorry, direct to consumer, manufacturer out there in the marketplace today when it comes to RVs nobody does what what we do so in order to place a, a deposit for your trailer so built for you trailer then you would go to our deposit page and then place a deposit and what that place a deposit does is it secures a production slot for you out in the future um, and that production slot out in the future that future timing really depends on our build rate plus our amount of orders that we have in place it's you know um, it's one subtraction from the other. So when when we're building fast and we are continuing to ramp up the speed at, at which we build, then obviously we will consume the order book that we have a little bit quicker. But really all, at the end of the day, it really depends how many people are placing orders for traders. And we've seen some incredible growth over the past few years with the number of people placing orders for our trailers. So we've become an exceptionally popular trailer to purchase. And there are reasons for that, which we will go into here a little bit further down as we go to the next uh, the next option. So let's just say the how long you have to wait to get your trailer is dependent on how many people have put orders in in front of you mm -hmm. and how fast we're building. Now, as we progress through the period here, through the year, this year maybe, um, we are continuing to ramp our production. And as we ramp our production up, then we reach out to customers and we say, hey, we're moving a little faster. I know you had a date in pretend, I don't know, late 2023, looks like we can pull you forwards to early 23 or late 22 or something. You know, that would be a, you know, a great win, I think, for most people. Um, and then if they say, hey, yeah, no, I, I want this trailer as soon as I can get it, then we'll pull them forwards and go through the exercise of getting that person configured up so we can build them earlier. And what that does, of course, then is it creates another opening in the backlog or in the, in the orders for other people to move forwards. Yeah. into those slots. So we do do um, date revisions every now and then, and then we pull people forward. Now, there are some people who say, no, no, I, I'm retiring in 2024. I specifically booked 2024 because I want to stay. I want to have this trailer in 2024. No problem for us at all. You can stay in your slot. We're not forcing you to move forward in any way, shape, or form. That simply wouldn't happen with us. Um, so that's kind of the, the first one, the way dates and can just, move forward. Yeah, and perhaps, Carl, explain us the difference between a fifth wheel oh, and yeah. a bumper toes. All right. So if you, you can kind of think think about it like I have two production lines. I don't. It's all one production line. But I am constrained by the number of molds I have to make these beautiful one-piece fiberglass trailers. They all come out of a mold. And there's a video on that that you can have a look at as well. So the, the fifth wheel, I can't do it every day. I can't make them every day. Mm -hmm. um, they, I can make them what I call once every fifth rotation. And if we do two to three trailers a day, then you know you might have one trailer going in every every couple of days. But I just don't don't have the amount of slots yeah. available for it, and they book up pretty fast. The fifth wheel is a very popular trailer; it's a beautiful trailer. Um, so that's why the date on the fifth wheel is further out than the bumper poles. Yeah, are um, you know for that specific reason. That's about the uh, you know the only reason that there is. So step one: you want a custom trailer, you place a deposit, and then we build for you. Road. Second one is inventory. Now we we try not to build inventory, and the reason we try not to build inventory is because we really want to build your trailer and pull our customers forward so they have the, the opportunity to be in their custom built trailer sooner. Um, but from time to time, let's let's, pre let's pretend the stars aligned and all of a sudden my production rate doubled in the next month then it's like, okay, well, I need to have double the amount of customers ready to be configured, or sorry, ready and configured to be able to be built. Um, we look out as far as we can, right, and try and pull people forward. But let's just say I can't pull enough people forwards to get them built. I still need to keep production running at that rate, or I want to keep production running at that rate. And we would fill those slots with just inventory built trailers, spec trailers that we would, uh, that we would offer out. It happens, it doesn't happen very often, but it will, I we're kind of predicting the, in the early part of this year, there may be the odd few. That it's not going to be 20s and 30s. It's going, if it's anything, it's going to be ones and twosies yeah. type idea. And when we build an inventory trailer, typically we build it up to a, um, a higher level specification than a base trailer. 
So we add more options into it and then configure it up into something that we think looks, looks pretty nice. And then we offer it out to people. Now, one thing we do do is this. We say, if you want to have an inventory, if you want to be in the draw for the inventory trader, because we don't put inventory traders up and say, hey, it's highest bidder and you know, sort of any of those sorts of games. We just go, okay, we're going to, we have to build an inventory trader. We've got an inventory trader either because we've chosen to build one or there is another way in which an inventory trader or trader may become what we would call inventory. And that would be where, you know, a customer has fallen on some sort of hardship or something has happened and they need to cancel their trader, but I've already kind of halfway built it yeah. or something. And then we would also put that one up as a, um, as an inventory trader. So those are the two ways that can happen. Now, because I have a bunch of customers out there who are like, you know, I just really want a, an escape and, you know, if they could customize, they'd be happy. Mm -hmm. But if this inventory trailer kind of is close enough to what they want, they'd go, yeah, I'd still want it early. I'll take that trailer. So what we do is we say, listen, you guys were in first. You put your deposit in. You made a commitment to us. So the commitment we make back to you is that we will do a draw on this and make it fair and equal to everybody who wants to be included in this draw. Um, but you have to be an existing deposit-placed customer mm -hmm. or customer with a, or person with a, with a deposit in place. And that makes it fair fair and even for everybody who's put deposits yeah. in. If by if for any reason this has never happened, then I just don't imagine it will. Uh, this inventory trailer does not sell to anybody in our customer group, then uh, we would offer it out to the public to purchase it. And Carl, how does a customer know that an inventory trailer is, is for sale? So the key way to know about an inventory trailer is to follow us on YouTube. So typically what we'll do is we will we will video, we'll do a video of the inventory trailer, almost like a walkthrough, like a one-on-one -on -one that Harrison typically does. And we'll post it up uh, when we have inventory traders for sale. And then a person at that point can go in and register themselves into the into the draw for that. Yeah. For that trailer. So they're posted on Fridays when there is one. And yeah. then they're on the website with video, with build sheet, uh, and pictures for the weekend during which time you can study the trailer and put in your name on the form. Monday, 12 o'clock sharp, PST, we close the form mm. and then we do the typically a live draw at 4 o'clock on that Monday. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's very, very fair. As inventory traders, and then the last one, this is close to your heart, is the pre-owned traders. Yeah. So from a pre-owned perspective, you know, last year or so we decided, you know, hey, let's, let's escape. The website ought to be a one-stop shop for people right you can come in you can see what we've got um on the custom side on the inventory side and on the pre-owned side and we wanted to make it an opportunity for our customers who needed to sell their trailer for whatever reason um to be able to just put it up on our website yeah and then get in contact or have other potential customers or people who would like to buy their trailer get in contact with them yes right. yeah that's right so for sellers they put their pictures and the the details of the trailer on our website and for those who are interested to buy we have a subscribe list so you can subscribe to the floor plan that you're interested in and the moment we put a trailer on this website we will send you an email so that's the key for you to go back to the website look at this trailer and then you can contact the seller directly there will yeah. be typically the email address on one of the pictures and a little tip you you want to be fast on those ones so oh. if you see a, a unit that you like you want to email yeah, this uh, yeah. seller right away. Pre-owns sell exceptionally fast. Yeah. Like I'm talking, it goes up on a Friday and it's sold by a Sunday. Type yeah. I, type ID, and it probably got sold on the Saturday. And we found out about it. We got we got told on the Sunday. So they move really, really fast. And um, and people putting their trailers up for sale, they're getting current pricing plus some at this time. So there is a price to be paid for getting for buying it for being able to get a trailer. Um, very very quickly on one of these pre-owned things so i think a lot of it talks to the the great resale value mm -hmm. on the escape trailer simply because of how well it's made and how well how well it holds up how long it lasts and yeah yeah there you get you get your money back that's for sure so um how do i buy an escape or how do i get an escape there's three different ways the first one is you get your custom put your deposit in place the second one is you can get an inventory trailer from us when we do a draw again you have to have a deposit in place for that to be in the first round and then the last one is a pre-owned trailer i'm gonna have links down below for all of this information um good luck in your journey towards your escape remember we're escape trailer and we're built for you